heliotrope rash. Let us talk about a case presentation here. A 53 year old woman with a past medical history of thyroid disease presents to her physician office for weakness. She reports that she has been feeling weak, has difficulty climbing the stairs and combing her hair every morning. Today she also has difficulty arising out of her chair and physical exam reveals decreased strength especially in the shoulders. She also has an impressive periorbital rash and a sunburn on her cheeks. These two are the important buzzwords or clue words in the case. She is sent for further laboratory workup and counseled on the likely initiation of high dose of steroids. So the condition what we are discussing right now in this patient is the heliotrope rash. So this heliotrope rash is caused by a condition called as dermatomyositis which is a rare connective tissue disease but also be seen sometimes in paraneoplastic syndromes. People with this disease have a violet or bluish purple rash that develops on the areas of the skin. They also experience muscle weakness, fever and joint aches. It is commonly described as a macular confluent purple or violaceous rash over both eyelids and periorbital tissue. It can present with or without edema. And this type of rash may be itchy or may cause burning sensation. And it commonly appears on the sun exposed areas of the skin including face that is including eyelids, neck but also seen on other parts of the body especially over the sun exposed areas. And the mechanism of this is unknown but thought to be autoimmune in origin. So whenever we, the skin lesions demonstrate a perivascular CD4 positive T cell infiltration in the dermis. Despite the limited data, the heliotrope rash is highly characteristic of dermatomyositis and should trigger further diagnostic evaluation. This is what we need to know about heliotrope rash which gives you an important diagnostic clue for dermatomyositis. And whenever we are talking about the same heliotrope rash as well as dermatomyositis, another important word all of you need to know is called as shawl sign. So what exactly is the shawl sign? The same heliotrope rash in dermatomyositis but whenever there is an erythema involving back of the neck and upper back as well as more widespread erythema with a braided appearance in these areas, we call it as shawl sign. This is what we can see in the dermatomyositis. So by this we completed the topic called as heliotrope rash in dermatomyositis.